Do 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 Oh, that's not my channel. That's Andy's channel. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Oh, I'm going to try and bend some stuff. This is massive. I got these for, I think, five dollars each. Probably a little bit more than I should have spent on them. But look, the control, let's see if I can snap it or what's going to go on. So, if I was going to put it into something, it'll probably go that way and then bend. So, let's see. It's not too bad. It's a little bit tight. I probably should have gone the other way. Let's go the other way. Let's try and go the other way. Because, oh. probably not the right way to go. Let's see. Oh, look at that. I'm as strong as Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, so I might have to put another bit of heat shrink on it. But yeah. What do you reckon of that, guys? Quick problem fixed. Don't know about bending it the other ways. I don't think you can unless you do a bit of heat on it. Um, and they're not long enough. If you had long ones than these, you could probably heat them and bend them. And that's what I would have done. I would have, if it was about that long, I'd heat it and slowly bend it. So without wrecking the actual main bit. But you would need a fair bit of copper in, involved in there. And probably a blowtorch. It's a good idea. Let's play with some blowtorches. Not right now. But anyway, this is only a quick one. Saying that I watched Andy's show. And I can bend one up. It's not going to be perfect. I probably have to do a little bit more to that. And Andy's is probably going to be better than that. So I could probably... Yeah, you could probably bend it like that and clean it up. Um, I do have a anvil down on the floor. Of course, I didn't bother to use it. Oh, that's another episode. You're not allowed to see that. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me. Let's keep moving along and let's keep building stuff. Hey, Bets, what are you doing? You come to get me, did you? Oh, we better go and do that. I decided to charge one of these batteries. Now the battery, you'd be surprised it's reading 13.5 volts, but look at it. It's a rocking chair. It's an acid battery off a e-scooter or e-bike, which I'm fixing for some kid's birthday, not, uh, or Christmas, I mean, not mine. And it's blown these two caps off my original power supply. You can't get these anymore. Doesn't matter, I've got the big one now. But I thought I'd do it off this, and I didn't turn the current down enough. Blown those, blown two diodes and a capacitor at the front, and maybe a fit there. But yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Anyone got any good ideas, or is there a fault finding manual for this type of unit? Or a circuit? Would be handy. I don't know whether, and I don't blame the Chinese for this, it was my mistake. It was my mistake, I put too much power into it, or pulled too much power out of it. Anyway, that's it from me.